Hey everybody, how you doing? In today's video, we're comparing slug guns. What's better, the smooth bore shotgun versus a rifled barrel shotgun when it comes to big game hunting, whitetail hunting, mule deer hunting, whatever other big game you want to hunt with a shotgun. What two rounds are we comparing today? Remington Slugger one ounce lead slugs and the Hornady SST 300 grain slugs. Both of these are in 12 gauge. The Remingtons I'm gonna shoot out of the smooth bore, which today I've got a Hatfield SAS semi-automatic. The Hornady's Sabo slugs I'm gonna shoot out of this Weatherby PA08. What I wanna compare is the knockdown power. The Remington sluggers have a one ounce slug, which one ounce of lead is about 438 grams. So that's a 438 gram bullet. That's a big bullet. The Hornady SST Sabo slugs are only 300 grains. So let's look at the ballistics on the box. Actually, I actually have no idea what it says. The Hornady's are 300 grains and 2,000 feet per second at the muzzle. The Remington Sluggers are 438 grains and 1560 feet per second at the muzzle. Hornady's are about two-thirds of the mass out of this bullet, but they're also going about 25% faster. So, smaller bullet, a little bit faster. I want to see how many of these milk jugs each will go through. I'm going to say the Slugger goes through six-gallon jugs, and the, Horn and the Hornady SSTs only go through five. Six jugs and five jugs. Take a second pause. Put in the comments down below how many jugs you think they're going to go through. Here goes the Remington Slugger in the Hatfield SAS. I know I was aimed dead center of that front jug. We caught the slug in the third jug. Pretty surprising to me there. We caught the Remington 438 grain one ounce slug in the third jug of water on the first couple jugs there one two and then the third jug here peeled the side open and there's the slug right there see how it deformed there but pretty surprised I thought that it would go through more than just three jugs let's get set up again with the Weatherby and the SST rifle barrel slugs. Here's the Hornady 300 grain SST slugs in a Weatherby PA08 pump. The Hornady Sabo slugs out of the rifle barrel went through one, two, three. See the entrance there? And the exit's pretty nasty. Went into this laundry detergent here. Came out right there. Went into this apple juice and then stayed in the bottom. Check that out. And it appears that that 300 grain bullet retained most of its mass. Let's go put these up and compare the slugger versus the SST slugs. So, just to review, we caught the 438 grain Remington slug in three milk jugs. The Hornady SST 300 grain slugs went through three milk jugs, a detergent jug, and was caught in the fifth jug so it went further with a smaller bullet and it appears it retained all of its mass a little bit different results than what i had expected these actually did not go as far but look at how nasty that is maybe that's why i've never had to track a deer i hit with this because it creates such a nasty wound channel so sluggers the sluggers are going to cause massive trauma with this kind of bullet ripping through a deer. These went further than the sluggers. 
probably because it retained most of its mass. It didn't lose as much energy when it hit the water. If you haven't already, subscribe to the Hootie Hoot channel. Stay tuned for future videos. If you have any ideas for future videos, comment down below and I'll do my best to try them out for you guys. But have a good one. Hootie Hoot!